Hey guys, so I have this uh, Pentair Ultra Temp heat pump and I'm trying to connect this to my controller, smart controller, which is a Hayward uh, Gold Line. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take this panel off since all the controls are behind this panel. So these are screws and a uh, couple right here. And then this whole panel will come off exposing the internal. Okay, so before we start to unassemble this and um, do some wiring let's make sure our settings are good so there are two settings uh, that you have to be focused on first thing you need to set this to make sure this is configured to be operated by a relay uh, there are um, different settings in there um, that you can if you have a Pentair controller uh, you can control this via RS232 cable which is a communication cable also um, you have to make sure um, how you're gonna wire this up so there are two options once you take this off which I'll show you to you later on you have a common you have a spa and then you have a pool so it doesn't really matter if you use spa or pool wiring you know whatever you're using uh, to control the relay you have to make sure the electronics is set for that so uh, what we're gonna do is just look at our settings so go into the menu timer we're gonna leave it to none I'm just gonna scroll through. Oops. Okay, so remote mode is set to relay, and let's see what other stuff we have. So we have remote off, and it, you can see as soon as I turn this off, uh, it came right on because uh, this was set to on. So in a normal case, this always stays on, and uh, the reason is because. You want this thing to stay on that doesn't necessarily means that it will come on all the time that only means that it's on and waiting for the trigger from your controller for it to tell it to come on so this part stays on um, and uh, as soon as your relay sends a command this is just waiting for that contact dry contact to come close which we'll talk about later uh, but anyway so let's go ahead and make sure we set this remote mode not to off this is supposed to be on off when you're controlling everything manually but it needs to be on relay there you go so now it's on relay and uh, the other option is uh, RS-232 sorry 485 uh, so this is uh, RS-485 but in our case we're gonna leave it to relay so it's just waiting for that contact to come close uh, this is just showing the actual temperature alarm status okay so heat mode uh, I'm gonna wire mine to spa the wiring that I'm going to do behind this is going to be for a spa so I'm gonna leave it for a spa because that's pretty much what I use it for uh, doesn't that again doesn't really matter what you wire this for because uh, whatever you wire it for is just gonna come on regardless you know it all depends how your plumbing is done and uh, how this configuration is for your pool to get heat up um, but uh, my wiring will be spa so I think we're done with the settings here and I think we're ready to go ahead and open this up and do the wiring from inside. Front cover off and uh, as you can see the low voltage wires are coming right here and um, even though I saw the wire coming in here from my controller but it wasn't working so this is the reason why it's not working because it's not even connected here anywhere here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find out where it goes. Seems like all the low voltage is going um, behind this or this so I'm gonna go ahead and undo this first and see if I can find it and uh, most likely this is where it goes okay so I stripped uh, these two wires control wires make sure you know what color you're using in this case I'm using uh, black and red and uh, so I took this apart and uh, I think my control wire was kind of short so I kind of pulled it from inside there and I'm just going to feed it through here try to stick it uh, with the low voltage control because you don't want the because this is mainly a control wire so you don't want it to be going into like the high voltage wire so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and feed it from this side and uh, maybe snake it through here and uh, go up in the controller so I can wire it from the back side and uh, this is where you're gonna need to connect to control these so this, there is a spa, common and pool. So you can use either one spa, common or a spa pool. 
doesn't really matter uh, it's just to controlled by whatever settings you have in there so I think I'm gonna just set mine to spa so I can control uh, but you can heat the pool with that as well so the two control wires, wires black and red are gonna go in common and spa in my case and uh, we'll do the settings later on so I'm gonna go ahead and connect that so here is my connection I use a spade to connect to that and I just had these spare wires so I just tap to my control wires and uh, these are just dry contacts so what your controller is doing that thing right there is once you press the button over there for the spa mode uh, these contacts kind of these contacts uh, they just jump together uh, like a dry contact coming close and uh, so technically if you just jumper from here to here your pool pump will uh, uh, not the pump but the uh, heater will come on so in my case I just uh, wired them like this I'm just gonna feed the wire and put everything back so we're done with this part uh, another test you can do before you close any, uh, everything just to make sure your wire is good is to uh, enable the uh, heater from there and once the heater is enabled you can uh, just test these two uh, with uh, a voltmeter and put it into ohms and just uh, make sure the contact is coming close close you know you can use a beep or you can check the impedance you know and uh, just make sure like you know, once you close it you read some kind of low impedance on that so with that I'm gonna go button this thing up everything is good to go here over here and uh, put everything back to normal and then we're gonna ch check into our settings okay guys so this is the wire the control wire right from here and uh, it is coming up right here you can see the red and black wire and this is uh, this is the same control wire coming outside and this is uh, the contact for my heater in my Hayward system so this is the system that I have Aqualogic and uh, <coughs> So once I wired this, I turned this heater on and as you can see, my heater came on. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this off and you can see the heater is going to come off. There you go. So now I can control this right from inside the house because I have a similar setup. I can control this entire thing inside the house. So the next I'm going to show you real quick that how you need to program this guy to control this wire and I'll show that from inside you can also do it from outside but uh, I'm just gonna show you from inside okay so this is my inside control and uh, the first thing we're gonna do is going to the settings menu timer diagnostic menu configuration menu and you're gonna press this to hold on to them to unlock this now it's unlocked now keep pressing menu until you go to oops I missed the settings menu so there's a settings menu and I'm gonna click right click on the arrow now you see it says uh, spa heater manual off and now you set the temperature where you want it to be so mine is set to 102 whatever temperature that you want it to be set to excuse my kid here and this is my pool temperature and the spa heater temperature doesn't matter guys I just do whatever temperature that you want for either one of them these okay so set day and time that's my current date and time display light on for 30 seconds that's the light for this one beeper enabled and they, these are just sorry these are just some of the settings so anyways now we're done so now when i press heater i'm going to be able to control my heater right from here and uh whether i'm pool or a spa the heater should work because this is just a contact which is waiting to come close and as soon as the contact comes close by pressing this it is going to start the heater <clears throat> now if i just press it right now it's not gonna it's not gonna work so your filter has to be on so you can heater you can run the heater because this is more like a safety feature that you don't want your heater to be on while your pump is not running so uh, i've already tested that uh, and feel free to make sure you guys test that feature because you don't want your heater to go bad so the guys, uh, this is pretty much it. And if you guys like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video.